the planet Earth is warming. Since 1906, the average global surface temperature has risen between 0.6 and 0.9 degrees C. And although that doesn't sound like much, the effects could be potentially catastrophic. It strikes me that school students are, in the main, concerned about the environment. Are we going to change our lifestyle in order to reduce the amount of um, greenhouse gases we're putting in the atmosphere? Or are we going to carry on living as we do now and not make those changes? In most schools now, students run some kind of eco-warriors environment club. They want to make a difference. And here's a chance that school students can genuinely quantify what they're doing and seriously take steps to see what direct reduction they can make. The COM calculator which we've built allows them to input in loads of different figures and be completely shocked when I did it uh, about your actual COM footprint and what COM you generate every day. They can find out what their COM footprint is in their school, they can start mechanisms to reduce that. There's loads of different ways of actually tackling their environment, looking at their carbon footprint and trying to reduce it. Hello, we are from Stirling High School and we are here to tell you about our findings from our research into our school's carbon footprint. We've been studying lung function and gas and particulate pollution with Dr. Rebecca Holloway from Imperial College. Only a quarter of students recycle. In an attempt to increase this percentage, we will trial providing rewards to students to recycle. The first change I aim to make in my school is to make the school free from single-use plastics. You know, we can't say, oh, we can't do anything about it. And I don't think young people think that. I think they want to make a difference. And here's a chance for them quantifiably to tackle this problem and to work with other schools and think up what's good solutions for reducing their carbon footprint.